What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we got another stream highlight. This time, in case you guys didn't know, over on Twitch, you can get channel points for watching the channel, and you can redeem them to have me jump on your account to do different things such as Aspen Dungeon, Testing a Hero, Do My Sealand, Do My Tower of Oblivion, and so Teddy actually redeemed Tower of Oblivion. He'd been stuck on, I believe it was Tower 613 for quite a while, the full Penny Wave, uh, but we actually managed to do pretty good. We got through about 10 waves for him, uh, progressed him up. We ran out of, of course, the uh, the water droplets to keep pushing. But, you know, it's something. If you guys are stuck with something, make sure you come on by our Twitch streams. Make sure you redeem those points, get those rewards, and, uh, yeah, have me help you do some good stuff in the game. Granted, I can't. I can't guarantee I'm not going to do Barry things. But I'll try my best. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you're going to stop by the stream. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, so Teddy did redeem a do my Tower of Oblivion. So we are going to try to get this done here. We are on the Penny Wave, which is always a fun one. Always a fun one. I always like taking a look to see what other people do on waves that people are stuck on as well. Cruise, yeah, that cruise stun is probably what's going to do it, right? That way, like the first Penny attacks and then the entire team over here is CC'd. That way, you don't have to worry about reflection armor. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that much reflection. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I bet I bet that's probably a common denominator on a lot of these teams. No, actually not. Interesting. Okay. Ticks, though. Ticks is the big one. Do you have a ticks on this account, Teddy? No, you don't. That is going to make it difficult. So, Antler's Cane. We have a Holy Attack Attack set up here. Um... Honestly, I think we're going to go for attack enables on this because he's going to die anyway, so we want him to ha do as much damage as possible. You got him void imprinted, so yeah, he's going to be the big burst on this team. Carry isn't as big of a deal on this one. Uh, that looks fine on the Ruda. I like the Sherlock for some swaps. Penny? Do we use Penny as well? I think we do. Ada could be strong. That's an interesting rose that we got there. Uh, Drake. Uh, I'm going to unequip some of these so I get a full set of gear going for the penny. I think I want to use penny here as well. Ooh, especially with that. Wait, no, penny's not good with that. Hold on. Who do I want with that? Who's going to hit everybody? You are going to hit everybody. This is, I want, yeah, there we go. That looks good. And then we'll give like penny the other one. Yeah. Something like that. Carry slot one for the dodges. Yep, that's the plan. That is the plan. She's not going to do much because I do actually want to make her tankier as well. I don't want her with energy. I want her tank ability. Tanky, 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 tanky. Actually, you know what? I'll even just do that as well. Yeah, I think that'll be a good hero lineup for this wave. So let's jump in here. We're definitely putting carry slot one. Throw Sherlock up the front, and then something like this with, yeah, probably the Phoenix for most damage. So what's going to happen here most likely is if we get to round two, which we should technically, Russell is going to be the one that we're relying on to do most of the damage here. But again, he's going to nuke himself to death through the shields. That dove is pretty nice as well. Because the Reflect Armor is just going to annihilate Russell. Hopefully Russell stays alive, though. He's get some damage reduced, but mm, we'll see. I almost want the Bell Rain to die. Okay, all right, we died completely. <laughs> all right, we died completely. So actually what we're going to do is swap them up like this. That way, hopefully the Bell Rain... We might even want to take Unbending off of the Bell Rain... Just so that she procs her heal that much sooner. That's good. That's what we needed. RQ, thank you so much for that prime man. Welcome, welcome. My uh my my stream labs is messing out. Oh, I didn't even watch it. Darn it. No. No. Did we even get an active off on Russell? We might need to use energy on Russell, honestly. Can we not hit the doved one, please? 
Yeah, Russell living through this round is probably going to be pretty rough. Here can get some dodges for us. That'd be great. Nah. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. Since Russell is going to have a really hard time living, we're going to give him an energy artifact, even though it's not optimal. We really need his burst damage right here. Yeah, see this way. Oh, he doesn't get his pings off, though. That feels really bad. I forgot about that part. He won't be able to ping. This is a really tough wave. <laughs> really tough. I mean, if you could build like a 9, 10 star cruise, it would be so much easier getting those CCs off. Oh, wow. We didn't instantly explode. That was nice. Oh, here we go. Come on. Don't die. Don't die. Come on. You can, you, Sherlock. Carry, you got this, right? You got this? You're not going to die, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. That's pretty much what we wanted to happen right there. So that is good. What is the next wave? Yeesh. Ugh, those Asmodels are going to be such a pain. So let's swap this back and give that a try. Let's just go in, take a look, and see what happens on the first wave here. The Asmodels are really what's going to hurt us, though. Russell might not have enough time, honestly. We need Carrie to energy drain the Asmodels very, very badly. But she's dead. <laughs> we might need to put her in the back row to make sure we get those. Because these actives are going to wreck our team right here. Boom. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So. Carrie in the back. Sherlock in the front. Something like that looks a little bit better. Honestly, even the... Garuda's not really that great in this. Maybe we should throw like a 10 star Ada in there for the mark with energy. Nico's YouTube, Barry. I watch all your videos. Keep doing what you're doing in the community and the Idle, How <laughs> Idle Heroes community loves you. Thank you so much, man. All right. So we did get one energy drain, which is okay. All right. We got the Russell active coming. Yep. That's what we needed. Everything is going to rely on this Russell active for every single wave for the most part. This account definitely needs a 10 star ticks. The 10 star ticks with that Punisher staff would just wreck wave after wave after wave. So Teddy, work on a ticks, man. Work on a ticks. <laughs> All right, this should do it right there. Yep, perfect. You don't like ticks, but he's so good. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I don't know if you have what it takes to actually beat this wave. Do you have any LUTs? You don't have any LUTs? Oh no. Oberon wave. I think that might be the end of this right here, Teddy. <laughs> so, first things first, this has to be an energy artifact. Look in the bag. Oh no, there's no LUTs. We need that stunnage. That or like a cruise or something like that. But if you have two LUTs, it makes it really easy. You have cruise copies? <laughs> Shadow shards. I think he's in there, right? Yeah, I mean, okay. All right. One LUTs. Come on, man. <laughs> That's not cool. What the hell? Only one LUTs? I mean, it's better than nothing. you have another energy artifact or is that the only other energy artifact you had oh no are there energies am i blind here guys tell me shout at me if there's another energy artifact that i'm just not seeing here oh wait there it is oh, i found it give me <laughs> give me give me give me i need that we need this lutz right here so technically we shouldn't have to level him up at all technically this energy should be fine and all he needs Ah, <sighs> one is all we're going to get. <laughs> and the whole reason is this active here has an 80% chance to stun mages for two rounds. Typically against Oberon waves, you want like two or three of them, essentially. Um, oh, that's a good point. Check the Wishing Fountain store. See if he has any currency. He does. We can do a couple refreshes here. Yes. Mm. 
Uh, let's do like two more. One more. Ah, nah, we'll wait. We'll see if you can find another one, Teddy, because you are going to need it. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can give this a try. We can see what's going to happen. So what we're going to do is probably substitute out the Garuda and throw in the Lutz for that stun. And that's why if you have like two to three of them, yeah, that's that's where you can try to high roll because these Oberons get so strong that just their regular seeds do enough damage to almost one shot your entire team. It does look like the two stuns might have been enough. Maybe. Especially with the Sherlock reflecting those twines. Yeah, it's close. But as you can see, if we had a second one, it would be a much, much easier time here. We got a uh, double stun. Come on, really? That really? Because I don't think we can run a different artifact. Um, a different artifact on the Russell. Because we need to get him up in the top. Give Penny staff. But it, the staff will only proc on the main target she crits. It will not work with her passive. So it's not going to do a ton of damage. I mean, you never know. Sherlock could... could oh, yeah, never <laughs> We need bigger damage from that Russell coming out. The nah, Punisher Russ, he's not going to be able to live long enough. Like, even with the damage reduction he has here, he's still getting really, really hurt. I mean, maybe we could. Maybe. Maybe you put the Garuda in over the carry. Oh, pings. Come on, pings. Oh, we got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, you got to get in the air immediately with Russell against this. Because if he gets twined, you're just screwed. You're completely screwed. So that's not bad. We got through that wave. Uh, this one, I don't know if we have to do anything special. We'll keep the energy on Russell for now. Just because he could die immediately to the curse marks. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Also because we don't want to get energy drained by that DA. So hit them shields off. Perfect. Then Russell gets to go. Not too bad. We got a carry mark here, which is good. We got the pings, which don't care about the shields, which should take care of the two Amon Ra right here because of faction advantage. Maybe even the DA? No, not quite. But yeah, this one should be pretty easy. Garuda is so weak, 3 million on active. Yeah, Garuda does not do well in tower whatsoever. Whatsoever. But of course, Russell is going to be what you're kind of leaning on for this composition. All those Aspens. Maybe we, do, maybe we should do something like that. Just throw the Ada in. Although, that was probably a bad wave to do that against. Because <laughs> she just might die. Yeah, she's just going to die because no unbending. But Russell's going to absolutely annihilate these Aspens. Or, er, Russell's going to destroy these Aspens. There we go. Why am I the only one chatting? I don't know, Nino. Oh, no. Come on, Penny. You need to crit. You need a crit penny. I need your damage. Don't let this man heal. Okay, maybe now we should put the artifact just so she crits. <laughs> just so she actually crits. Maybe we'll go do that. For the time being, Penny, you get the better artifact. Okay, there you go. Fine. We'll do it. Um, Will you live? I don't know. We'll give it a try. We will give it a try. Maybe she gets an active off. Yeah, she will to get some mark damage off. But I think, yeah, Russell's going to really crush this. Yep, Russell, finish them. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. What is next? Valentino wave shouldn't be a problem because we're going to be in the air round one. And that's why Russell with energy and tower is such a difference. Because so many times you need to pretty much whittle down the enemy team by round two. Otherwise, you're just going to start getting destroyed when they use their actives. But I mean, this five, this Ada, like guys, you don't sleep on Ada. Ada was the former queen of tower progression. And it kind of went to the new king of ticks. But Ada is still like the queen of tower. She does so well. God, these King Bartons. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, God. 
Oh god, this isn't doing a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my god, we're getting wrecked. Get some more doves, Sherlock. You can do this, man. I, I have faith. Carries are bad, don't you remember? Oh, they're getting so many marks on them. Oh no. The King Barton is wrecking us. Look at the King Barton damage. Fishy, fishy on fort with the host. Thank you so much, man. Oh, uh, this one this is probably where we're going to end right now, Teddy, because King Bartons are such a pain in the butt. E3 lock and a 10 star Bell Rain did this with deer for me. Just only them. That's a good point. We could try that. That way they're not too many. There's like not too many hits going out. That could work. Although we are going to get in the air again. This could work. Big active from Russell. Yeah, the stun from the cruise is another really annoying feature here. I think we got this now, though. Yeah, we got it. Still works. You just got to get enough damage in that round one. Or round two, technically. Yeah, I want to see you CC'd. We're good to go. We are good to go. Got that elite five star for you, Teddy. There you go. Ooh, more Oberons. We might be able to do this without a Lutz high rolling on them. Just because of the rustle here. It could work. Oh, the Ada went down. Maybe we want to throw Garuda back in for this one since she's tanky. Oh, that's so much burn damage. <laughs> that's so much burn. Let's do one more attempt and throw in... Uh, and throw in the Garuda instead. We'll just buy one tier. And we'll finish here most likely. Let's throw you back in. See what happens. You were stuck on this stage for ages. I mean, honestly, a second Russell would do it. A Ticks with energy would do it. Like, a lot of options here. Don't die. All right. Come on, big active. That's not the... I, we need to kill the Oberons, guys. Come on now. That's not really helping us here. Oh, God, we're so dead. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, I mean, honestly, the biggest thing. What's up with that? What's going on? The biggest thing for Tower is getting a Ticks. But, hey, I mean, we did progress you up quite a bit. Where are you on the leaderboard? Probably way down. Just about everybody's got 650 done. It, it, as you guys see, you see this? The whole leaderboard has 650 done. That's because everybody has Ticks nowadays. And if you don't have a Ticks, Tower is going to be tough. But if you have even just a 10 or 9 star Ticks, you're going to absolutely obliterate it. Yeah.